Well, the reason it's necessary is you take a laser beam. Most people think of a laser beam as being just a beam like this. And for a lot of purposes, it is just a beam. However, this beam represents energy, light energy inside this beam. And this beam is used to cut, weld, or do many other kinds of things. But the question is, what is the intensity distribution through that beam? It could be flat like the end of this pen, which would mean it's uniform. Same energy all the way across this beam. Or it could be like the other end. It could have a point um, in the middle of the beam, meaning that there's more intensity or more light in the center of the beam than there is out here at the edges. Now, the reason this matters is because you have this kind of a beam. It's very good for things like ablation or spot welding, where you want a big uniform area all the same. This kind of a beam is what you would want to use for drilling holes, where you want to drill a very tiny hole, and you need most of the energy focused to that small point. Now, if that's the kind of beam you need, then you need to know if that's the kind of beam you've got. It could be that this intensity, rather than in the center, maybe there's a hole in the center with less energy, like a broken pencil with the lead gone, there's a hole in the middle, and the energy is out around that somewhere. That's not going to drill the same size hole as this one would. And if it's that kind, it's not going to do a spot well like this end of the pencil would do. So that's why it's important and actually essential to know what the beam profile is or the energy distribution across the beam.